what's up guys um this is a review of the wireless headset um afterglow wireless headset and here it is this review um first i'm going to talk about comfort wise when you wear them it, like this little thing it's not like so flexible that it can stretch well it stretches but it's really hard stretch so when you put them on, it feels like it's squeezing you, pushing you down, and or pushing the heads, the headphones up, and it's sort of. But after a while, it gets sort of comfortable, and you don't really feel it. And then the, that's the only thing. It's like I wish it was more flexible, but I guess if it's more flexible, that would just fall off. And then on these rotating cups, they're pretty comfortable. Like right here, it's like some sort of fake plastic thing I don't know it's not like leather but it's sort of like it's not like the other headphones this is like I don't know it sort of feels cheap but the only good thing about these is like look like you can rotate them so you can like put them in discomfort there's like a extra pad for like the back of the ear or in the front of the ear it depends on how you want to wear them you can just flip them see there's one one. Let's flip it back on. See, it just moves, and I guess that's pretty cool. But I also had like twenty dollar headphones, and it had the same material as this. So I'm like, oh, okay, maybe. But the volume, the. Oh, let me talk about what else. Oh yeah, let me talk about these features. There's this mode button right here. It's a preset for three presets. I guess bass, extra bass, or tremble, or whatever you want to call it. And this, this is pretty cool. This slides out. This reminds me of the Steel Series headsets that it can just slide in and slide out. And then when you turn them on, like right now, it lights up. It's pretty cool. So, and then what else it has? It has a little power port, a mini USB, an inline cable for your MP3 players. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. For your mp3 players, you don't want to see my old hand. Um, it's in for your mp3 player. If you have like this cable goes in there. Where are you, crazy cable? See how there's two of the same 3.5 millimeter jacks. There you go, perfect. And then this one goes in here, and then the other one goes with your mp3 player if you want to take it somewhere but trust me it's like i don't know if i have small head but i put these on and it look it look pretty crazy like this little thing i guess it's more more attractive for two for a younger crowd for the younger teenagers so yeah that's how you plug them in or i guess you can just also if you want to use a your mp3 player with this you can plug this in on a power source if you have like a usb to the wall just plug that in or this is just for power so anything that fits in the USB would power this thing this is the transmitter and then if you want to just I guess listen in without the cables you can plug your mp3 player too that would work this will go into a, your millimeter jack or, yeah 3.5 millimeter jack you plug it in into the mp3 player or iPod iPhone iPod touch iPad whatever you know they have 3.5 millimeter jack and you will get like the music wirelessly and it's a good stereo system it, it, this has stereo, it's not surround sound but this, the sound on this um, sounds pretty loud um, pretty good I guess like it's pretty solid it's a pretty solid sound like I don't know how to describe it but it's pretty good like it's not cheap sound it's just like it's not like the the cushion but it's pretty good sound like if I would recommend these because they're wirelessly and if you don't care about surround sound then you, you probably want to get these and it's only stereo sound but you can hear you can hear every you can hear details in the game it's just you can't find direction and that's the thing of surround sound and with surround sound you can define the direction the sound is coming from with these you just hear it but you don't know where it's coming from okay and what else Okay, here's the Xbox 360 chat. Sorry, I'm just bouncing around. And you plug this one here. 
and the other side on your controller you probably know how to do that if not I guess just plug it in the controller and then you can chat and pull down your mic and voila you're done you're set and also if you're gonna just use these for stereo make sure on your Xbox you change the you go to a system you go to the settings and then audio option and just set it for stereo that way you can get a better sound and batteries on this it lasts like up to 10 hours I, I used it today for like five hours and the light was still on this was still playing I mean the light source was on and it wouldn't turn off and I guess it stays on the whole time you're playing and the battery doesn't run out so if you think that this light is going to make your battery run out uh, probably it's not going to do it it's, um, that's a good feature I guess I guess if you play in the dark <laughs> And what else does it have? Oh yeah, the volume buttons. Here we go. Okay. Here's the volume button. This is like a volume balance. So if you want to balance it just to for the game, you can only hear the game and not the chat. If you just want to hear both, you can put sort of put it in the middle. It's like a balance between chat and game volume. You can use the balance and then here's the volume. You can press it all the way up. I do not recommend this. When you barely try these on, make sure the volume is all the way down. That way you don't bust your ears drums or like I do. Ow, my left ear. <laughs> um, just lower the volume down. And this makes the volume go up and down. You know, you can see the little arrow. So if you can put, have it in the middle, you can hear game and chat. And this is the volume. This is kind of weird feature. Like I think Steel Series has this. And only still series, and I was like, "Well, that's pretty. Hey, that's crazy. I I didn't like it that much, but like I said, the flexibility it sort of bends, but I wouldn't bend it that much because maybe it'll break. <laughs> but yeah, this feels sort of tight. And what else? What else do I need to talk about this thing? There was one thing. So if you want surround sound, what I did with this thing. I used it with my Ear Force DSS2. This produces Dolby Digital sound, basically pinpoint location of of sound. And you can find out where it is or the volume. You just go to that direction, and you can hear it. If you don't have this, then it's just going to be stereo. But this is pretty cool. You know, this runs around 80 bucks too. I don't know if you have one. You know, it would work with the regular DSS. The way it works is you just plug this in and the other end, just plug it in, in here and voila. And then power source and you need the fiber optic cable that it connects to the back of your Xbox and that will give you surround sound for these headset. The only, uh, I like it, um, but sometimes I guess since this has like a little power boost for volume, for the sound, it sort of interferes with this power boom. This the sound boom and this sound boom, it sort of interferes and sometimes it sounds like staticky or does the sound doesn't sound so good. So, but I guess if you're just playing a regular campaign game and you can hear it, and some parts sounds good. Most of the, I played it for like I played Battlefield 2 today, like the first and second levels and the third one. And I didn't have a problem with that. I can find out what directions sounds were coming from. But if we try to listen to music or something, um, I don't know if this would sound good. It would maybe sound distorted. So for gaming, this is pretty good. Just don't raise the volume up all the way up. And because sometimes you get some interference between these two. They sort of fight. But this is a pretty good thing. And what else? So here's your power cord. You get a 10 foot cable for the power cord, I guess. I guess if you run out and you want to still keep playing, just plug it into your Xbox or anything that has USB, I guess, in the back of your Xbox. Or you have one of those wall end charges you just plug in, and then you can still keep playing. But after two hours or three hours of wearing this, it's, it was starting to hear, hurt my ears like. I don't know, I feel like it was really tight. Maybe I have to break them in, I'm not sure. But for three hours I was playing it, it sort of got my left ear 
um, sort of, I don't know, like it was bothering me after a while, so I had to take a break and take them off. And I think that's it about this review. Comfort wise, I'll give it like maybe a seven because I just played for two hours or yeah, two and a half hours, and it was already getting like my ear was getting tired. And the sound, it sounds pretty good in stereo, like it's pretty good. Like I was surprised.